today I am starting the ocean waves. I put pool noodles on all sides of the desk. I wrapped my canvas in a pool noodle uh, and I taped down some magnets onto my surface here and I am using magnets to hold my section up onto the table. I have pulled my table as far up as it will go and I'm letting the excess hang off down at the bottom. That is how I prepared my table. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm getting pen. Oh, and I'm also doing a hyperlapse at the same time. So, um, on a different camera. I'm also um, using my laptop to be able to look at the key itself. My husband went to take my kids out and about so that they can get some fresh air. At this point, um, they get stuck in the house for so long with the whole virus crap and so um, my son, my oldest son bought a game for my five year old and he had it sent um to him so okay had it sent to him so it's in the mail so he figured oh it can't hurt for him to go to the you know post office real quick and whatnot this painting is going to have color blocking which means it's large sections of the same color which can be a nightmare and can be a curse I particularly do not do um, multi-placers because I can never get them and it can never get them good enough. I'm going to still do it just because it's attached to the table. Technical difficulties have me uh, tripped up. So when my camera fell, it broke my tripod um, cell phone holder. So now I am having to rig it up until I can get a new one today, later today. Um, but it's, it's been kind of a nightmare. I spilled my diamonds. I have all kinds of technical difficulties going on here. Um, so, We're gonna just continue on the best the best that we can. I'm trying to solve my issue of not being able to read some of these symbols. Some of them are very clear, some of them not so much. So I'm just trying to figure out um, the best way to do this. But I got one more of this color. Here. Okay, so this is exactly why I needed to have my diamonds in place before I started because this is the color that it was missing 
and without this color I would have to be skipping rows and rows and rows of these and I would not be very happy about that. So, um, let's see, so an update about being the, the goings on, um, not really much has been happening, um, never did hear back from the apartment manager about the upstairs neighbor. Um, but today we heard this, um, pouring sound on our porch though. So, and I was like, that sounds louder than just the dog peeing over the porch. So I was like telling my husband, I need you to go out there and, and check and see what you can see. Like, is it the dog or like what's going on out there? So he's like, yeah, that's fine. I gotta take, I gotta take the trash out anyway. So he gets the trash and he starts walking out and I mean, we open the door and we're like, what the heck? What is going on? And, and then nothing, we didn't hear no one like holler down to us or anything. We just like nothing. So then, um, we, so he's heading out the door and as he's walking, uh, more, more water comes down and I was like, what the heck? Because they just pretty much dumped water all over my husband while he was walking outside. Because um, we thought they were done with whatever they were doing. And so he goes and he takes the trash out and he comes back and, and she's like, I'm so sorry. I um, didn't know, you know, that that you would be coming outside and I didn't know you were down there and I'm sorry and he's like that's fine except you could have gave us a heads up um so that we knew that you were going to be pouring stuff down the balcony um but while while he was walking out the door, like, I could smell dog. That's all I can smell is the smell of dog. And I'm like, ugh. It started to come up through the door and everything. And I was just like, oh my god. Like, this is ridiculous right here. Um. So. These are the diamonds that I got from Diamond Drills USA. I think they, I think they are really good quality. Um, not seeing any, not seeing any divots or anything. The only thing I am seeing is a little bit of um, other colors, uh, like another color mixed in, and I think that color is actually. 152 because I also bought 152 from her to um, replace the one the um, gems that they sent me that were wrong for my aerial painting. So I think there's just maybe a few of those mixed in with this, but I didn't really notice any in the package, so I was a little surprised to be seeing them because usually I try to I'll try to pick them out if I see them but so far so good um so yeah they dumped they dumped water all over my husband's head uh so then I called down to the office to let them know like what happened and like what is going on and basically they told me that them dumping stuff over the balcony or water or whatever and stuff coming down is a is a lease violation and they're also saying that the dogs are not on the lease as well so we're not sure what's happening with all of that i usually have 
I usually have a card on each side. I um, couldn't find my second card though. So I'm just trying to build up the reinforcement for now um, on this side so I can take it off and um, usually I do three, three rows to build it up. Um, yeah, we didn't do much this weekend at all. Uh, we went to my sister's house and um, played the trivia game and pretty much just relaxed. Like the kids' sleep habits since they're out of school have been wacky and all over the place and just kind of like a nightmare. Like we feel like we're not getting any sleep because they're so awake all the time it feels like and if like not one but the other or the other one will go to sleep early and the other one will go to sleep late which will wake up the one that went to sleep early who will now go to sleep late so things have been kind of a mess in that aspect so we're trying really hard to get them back in into a set time to go to bed and stuff but it's just been really hard because you're not really able to go anywhere or do anything so it's been really really difficult got my three set for that one so now I just need to work on this other color going smooth so far. Um, I was a little, oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you guys. I was a little worried about the um, area looking a little gray, but I think it's going to look good with the purple. Now that I see that the purple does not have a gray tint to it. <laughs> and that's what they say. Sometimes you can't just look at an unfinished canvas. You can't just look at an unfinished canvas and judge it by, by what it looks like unfinished. Because once you get the drills on it, it will look, it could look completely different. So far I'm not seeing even on the, the me and my and whatever the company is called there so far on their drills I'm not seeing any any um, like tabs or anything at least on the color that I'm working on um, which is good I do think they look a little um, they look a little misshapen on some of the sides though. Like one side looks like it's not like quite um, flat. It looks a little like rounded. Like, like it wasn't completely flat. 
but I can probably deal with those ones better than I can with the ones that have tabs on it. Because they at least still seat next to each other really well, unlike the other ones. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this off. I'm just going to peel it off and then I'm going to place this part on the top and this actually helps me pick how big my section is too. These darn magnets, they, I need like super heavy duty magnets I think. So I want to say if you're trying to do a setup similar to mine. I want to just like add a little like because I have not worked on a really large canvas on this table because um, I did not have this table when I did my previous largest which was a 120 by um, 80. I did not know how I wanted to set it up exactly. Um, so. I saw that Scotch had magnetic tape and I didn't know anything about it, I didn't read any reviews or anything. I assumed that, you know, if you buy a magnet that you could put magnets on top of it and it'll stick down. Oh no. <laughs> I put a magnet strip from top to bottom on both sides and use the entire roll of magnet tape and let me just say nothing stuck to it uh, through anything so it literally could only stick to itself and that was like barely so if you are looking for um, to use magnetic tape like that it will not work <laughs> uh, and I am surprised that these magnets are working quite frankly um, but it also they are working because there's a clip on the end of, edge of the table that is also um, holding it up <laughs> so it's not just the magnets that are holding it that's just holding the section I have up here and it's pretty it's pretty flimsy like I feel like I have to adjust it quite often so yeah so I am gonna try to do as much of this on video as possible because I'm actually working on another working on the 60 by 60 as well that I started back in August of last year no October of last year so I'm trying to get that one finished too so I'm gonna try to only work on this while I'm recording I'll definitely do be doing the time-lapse thing but I don't know I'm gonna try to work on it whenever I'm videoing but um so as I get this done, I, I decided, I'm thinking I'm going to work from top to bottom because then I can roll away the part that's done and like treat this like a scroll. I thought that it might be easier if I roll it and unroll it back and forth until I'm done and also being able to push up in a way the amount that I've already finished. I got this portion of it on the table to just work as much of it as possible. It's really hard to decide like how you want to do things and, and cause there's no wrong way really. Um, except like I would never start on the opposite side of my hand because then you have the trouble of having your hands all over the drills. But
I also was able to purchase the I'm gonna I'm gonna use a stretcher bar canvas a stretcher bar to turn this into a canvas like a stretch canvas so I'm going to get that in the mail and the way I did it is it's 90 90 high and 160 across so I purchased two uh, 90 by 60s and one 90 by 40 and I am going to make three of those and I'm going to connect them on the back and then it'll be a, um, a 90 by 160. So I'm looking forward to receiving those at some point. I have no idea how long this is going to take. Um, so. But it's nice to have the items coming because who knows how long they will take to get here, right? Could be a year. <laughs> These rates. Like I said, I don't mind how long it takes for them to come. Just as long as they show up. My husband and I also decided to start watching all of the Marvel movies, etc. And we decided to look up the sequence order of events so that we could watch everything happening in order, which has been really cool because we were able to watch you know, um, we started off watching, um, Captain America, the first Avenger. We watched that and we learned about Agent Carter and then they actually came out with a movie series with the same cast pretty much. And, um, well, Agent Carter pretty much was the only one in that, but um, and did a movie series. They continued, continued the storyline from Agent Carter, which I thought was really cool. Um, so you kind of get to learn what happens to Agent Carter. We know what happens to Captain America um, in that time frame. So, um, so it was, I thought it was pretty cool. Like, we get to because I, I never, um, I haven't seen some of the movies, so, because I, I was watching them, you know, as they came out in theaters and stuff, and, because I really like the Avengers and stuff, and Thor, Thor's my favorite, um, and such, so, um, I watched, like, I watched the Avengers, one and two. I haven't seen three yet. And I've seen Thor, but I haven't seen, um, I haven't seen any other Thors except for the original. Um, I am not a huge fan of Captain America. Um, but I did watch, I think, at least two of them. I think I fell asleep during the second one though. Uh, Winter Soldier I think was the one I fell asleep during. Um, but uh, so I don't know it's just it's you know it, it's nice to be able to like they actually show you um, chronologically which way to watch it. So based on its time line. So after Agent Carter, it tells you to, to 
to watch a one shot that was included on a DVD for blah 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 to find out because they ended up ending season uh, ending Agent Carter after season two so they had to figure out how to tie her back into the series um, so then they gave her a one shot which is just like an extra like miniature sequence of events and and then you know of course the easter eggs that they put at the end of every movie you gotta watch all of the endings of all the movies so you can see um, what the easter egg is for the next thing but it was nice like it, it's been nice because We've, we have been able to keep track really well of, of, you know, like, um, how the series actually comes together, how they become Avengers and, and all of that. And it's, it's nice, a nice story plot and all of that. Colson is the, I think is his name, the, the guy who runs S.H.I.E.L.D. with um, Agent Fury, so um, he he's the one that is cast in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., so, and I think there's a lot of seasons of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., so I think it was pretty successful on TV as well. Um, which is nice. But, oh, I don't see if they're very flat. Hmm. It doesn't have a very smooth coating to it, which, uh, if you watch my post review, about, about Twisted Blossom and you'll see that it should be pretty, it should feel pretty nice. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.